This one is Susie the Sapphire Fairy and the Glitter Games. By Sarah Crease and Lara Eid. In Sparkle Town, among the fields, beside a shimmering pool, there stood a bright blue building, the Sapphire Riding School. The school was home to horses with gleaming spiral horns. In every rainbow shade, they were the Sparkle Town Unicorns. Susie the Sapphire Fairy was in charge of sports and games. She cared for all the unicorns and knew each one by name. With her glittering sapphire wand, Susie would invent sparkling balls and nets and sticks for any sports event. Susie loved all kinds of sports, but best of all by far was Fairyland's Great Glitter Games, creator of superstars. Sparkle Town were, were this year's hosts, and Sue, so Susie had to win. She said, I'm sure we'll beat them all. Let training time begin. The fairies trained hard every day and Susie took the lead. Not like that, like this, she groaned. Now try again with speed. This went on for hours and hours till Daphne said, let's rest. But Susie cried, no time to stop. We have to be the best. Fed up with being told what to do and Susie's tough regime, the fairy said, we've had enough. We want you off the team. Susie fumed. Her cheeks turned red. She stomped off with a humph and wouldn't talk to anyone. She truly had the grumps. With Susie gone, the team trained on through rain and windy weather. And Susie saw that without her, they work better together. Maybe I was wrong. At last, the glitter games began. The fairies were prepared. They'd won the first round, then the next. No other teams compared. They made it to the final match and hear their biggest threat. The Glitter City Fairy Team, their toughest rivals yet. The fairies tried, they whizzed and charged, but couldn't get ahead. At halftime, they felt tired and down. We're losing, Rosie said. And then disaster truck truly stuck when Daphne tripped and fell. Time out, shouted the referee. Team talk, Rosie yelled. Meanwhile, Susie watched, wide-eyed and desperate how cross she felt, seeing her friends in trouble, just made her want to help. In a flash, she flew to them and said, you can't give in. You each have special skills and strengths. There's still a chance to win. Rosie, you're good in defense. The rest of you attack. I could fill in Daphne's place if you'll have me back. They nodded and smiled at Susie. Let's give this plan a try. With Susie by their side again, they flew into the sky. The fairies tried their very best. They listened and worked as one. But glitters were still better, and in the end, they won. Susie frowned. I let you down. I know now I was mean when I didn't listen in training or work well with the team. You're better off without me. She looked down at her feet. Don't be sillies, the fairy said. You make our team complete. Back at the school, Susie said, we don't need to feel blue. Let's be proud of second place. That's still special too. Susie learned that friends come first. They share the lows and highs and friendship, not the glitter glick games, was her very greatest prize.